Hey, what's up tech fans? Glad to see you guys back here on the channel. Now, before we jump into the video, I just wanna say this particular video was a total learning experience for us as we learned how to do all the things that you guys were asking for. You guys asked for the 1%, 0.1% lows, so we learned how to do that and bring in those things to you. So in our videos in the future, which we're gonna to be totally changing our test system, we'll continue the lows, the highs, and the 1%, 0.1% lows that you guys have been asking for because we want you guys to love us as much as we love you. So we took the XFX RX 580 card and we pitted it in a battle against the Founders Edition 1070. Now I know the 1070 is a little bit kind of out of the price range, but why not? It's not a total David Goliath type of thing, but the 1070 you know, is supposed to be a lot faster, it's a more expensive card. And I think you guys are gonna see at the end of the video that the RX 580 actually does pretty damn solid against them. I mean, I think you guys will be pretty shocked to see that. So with that said, let's just talk a little bit of our test system. Now this test system is going to be changed. As you see the next videos, we'll be switching over to an i7 system. Like you guys said, we listen to what you guys say. So we're building a system that most of the mainline gamers use and dumping the X99 system because let's just face it, X99 motherboard, expensive 5960 CPU, the 16 gigabytes of vengeance memory inside the system, still pretty costly, the case, Everything really about this entire system is just expensive and over the top. But the good thing is it has no bottlenecks whatsoever. And that's the cool thing about the test system. You English guys might recognize the slogan, a quick in and out. So that's kind of how this video is. It's going to be a quick in and out, love. You know what I mean, mate? Because <laughs> we're just going to jump in right now. Let's check out the test scores so you guys can see the new testing that we're doing here on Tech of Tomorrow. This is our first one, so let's jump in and let's see all the scores that you've been asking for.
One thing that was quite surprising is that the temperatures on these cards were pretty close. The 1070 got a maximum value of 81 Celsius under full load, and the XFX card was running at 78 Celsius under maximum load, so they're pretty close. Both cards are 8GB cards. Both cards have a minimum power supply requirement of 500 watts. The two differences is the XFX card has a single 6-pin and a single 8-pin, and the Founders Edition 1070 has a single 8-pin power connector. Now, as far as the boost clocks went, on the XFX card, we saw a top boost of 1,405 megahertz, and on the 1070 Founders Edition at 1,506. All right, everybody, so there you have it, man. The XFX card versus the Founders Edition 1070. Now, these cards are about $100 difference in price. The RX 580, about 299. The 1070, about 399. And as far as those 1%, 0.1% lows, you guys can see that the differences kind of go back and forth. In some games, one card does better. In some games, the other card does better. And that's just how it is. Now, the big difference really, however, is that you get about five to 15 frames per second higher with the 1070, but you're gonna pay that extra $100. So at the end of the day, you have to think to yourself, hey, is it really worth it for me? Do I really need that much? Or am I better with the other card? Now, I think a lot of people out there right now are really liking the RX 580 with the dryers and everything that's going on with, with AMD right now. AMD seems to be like hitting all the spots. So at the end of the day, I'd have to say if it was me just going out and buying a card, I'd probably get the RX 580 because those frames per second, really don't make that much of a difference you know in the, in the long when you're playing a game unless you need so many frames per second on your screen like i do like when you're using 144 hertz monitors and all that stuff then you might have some difference between the cards but overall i think gamers are going to want to pay the 300 dollars instead of paying 400 dollars, you know to get that better card but i want to hear what you guys have to say out there because i know many of my fans are nvidia fans and other fans that i have are amd fans so i really love to hear your guys's opinion please tell me if there's anything more that we can do in the testing to appeal you folks and make the channel more appealing please let me know because like you i'm a person who's learning and growing all the time we'll have more information about both these cards down below the like button but hey that's it man one percent point one percent testing that's the future we're in thank you very much we'll see you guys back here on the channel